all right and ladies and gentlemen hello and welcome to crypto space in today's video we are going to cover cardano its recent price action a little bit of news we are going to cover btc and of course altcoin charts too so if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and a quick disclaimer that this video is not a financial advice and now let's hop into cardano itself cardano is trading at 58 cents and is currently experiencing a leg up of 0.9 percent market cap is currently sitting at 20.6 billion us and 24 hour trading volume is sitting at 468.1 million USD. So we do have a little bit of a dip that we are experiencing over here with our ADA on a daily. However, I do believe that macro perspective and potential for Cardano, this bull cycle is definitely much higher. And of course, we do see a bit of different projects that are currently pumping. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that Cardano is going to be dropping consistently. But let's cover a couple of details, a couple of news, and then we we are going to go back into the chart so if it comes to DeFi, we are currently sitting at 476 million usd on cardano today uniswap labs received a wells notice from the sec so it looks like the continuation of a war on crypto is actually ongoing again and this is now targeting the dexes however i don't think that this is going to necessarily impact you know the price of a btc and of course alts and what comes with that the price of ada because obviously that is targeted towards dexes and even if that process is going to take a long time you know by the time sec is going to sue uniswap in a supreme court etc that is going to take time and i do believe that by the time they will that's going to be after the bull cycle hong kong's incoming spot bitcoin etfs could be big deal and here is what analysts say blah 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 however let's have a look at this hong kong regulators will likely approve spot bitcoin etfs as early as the next week so this is very big if those etf will be approved you know like next week that would be a very big deal another liquidity that is going to come into crypto that's great and obviously people over there have money so if it comes to daily guys that obviously doesn't look necessarily great and bullish for cardano because we got rejected from that area of 61 cents and it looks like we have some pullback over here for cardano however one thing i would like to point out if it comes to rsi cardano is currently at area of undervalued so i do believe that this is just a matter of time when cardano is going to see a new pump and i'm going to of course show you different charts that i believe are going to prove my thesis despite that we are dropping on a daily cardano still looks bullish we are printing higher highs on cardano and of course we have some sell-offs etc i would like to point out that lots of people also lost money in the previous bull cycle so of course that the selling pressure for cardano is going to be slightly bigger versus new projects so this is one thing to remember if it comes to if it comes to standpoint of moving averages that looks like we lost support of all of the moving averages however that doesn't necessarily mean that cardano is going to see more pain we could technically say, see that a retest of 53 three cents level and after that we could bounce higher for cardano let's see this is the google interest in the last five years for cardano so of course that's the previous bull cycle etc and at the moment we are dropping in terms of interest so nobody necessarily is looking for cardano at the moment right and I'm not saying that is necessarily great. However, that shows how much of upside potential Cardano has comparing to the previous bull cycle. We are nowhere near in terms of interest. So I do believe that late or retail isn't really here. The institutional money didn't really came yet, etc. So now let's have a look at the BTC in order to understand of what BTC is doing, right? So we are bouncing above these all time highs a little bit over here and we are retesting. Looks like BTC is going to retest the level of support at 69k. 200 and even if that is going to happen i don't necessarily care because obviously the long-term macro perspective for btc as well as ada is definitely bullish of course historically we are dipping either before the halvening event on the halvening event or post halving a little bit however even if we are going to see a major dip on btc and of course what's going to come with that that's going to pull ada's price down that doesn't necessarily mean that this is bad i do believe that these are going to be the last chances to accumulate ada or whatever project you guys believe even. And now if we are going to look at alts, let me zoom it in to monthly in order to kind of understand this a little bit better let me just take out the moving averages and zoom it out like that right so as you can see guys 
this is the halvening and pretty much is happening in one week time and looks like altcoins this is excluding bitcoin and ethereum of course including ada etc altcoins are dipping right now on that time of a halving on a monthly chart however we have potential of let's say around 3 trillion usd on altcoins ex excluding btc and ether obviously that is very very bullish for ada and also one thing that i would like to show is the bitcoin dominance that is constantly dropping ever since 2017 when old coins came out so we could see a massive old coin season because of course that looks green right now on a monthly over here for btc however if i'm going to switch it to the daily as you can see guys we do have some drops and ups over here for btc's dominance however that isn't going to last forever and i do believe that this is going to drop significantly sooner or later for btc so that is very bullish because we still do have a little bit of time for cardano and if we are going to look at the things from the perspective of inverted chart by the way shout out to the scalping pro we can clearly see that we are right now over here we can clearly see of what happened in the previous bull cycle when btc was hovering around previous all-time highs so the targets potential targets for this cycle for btc are let's say around 240 250 000 usd but of course i do hope that you guys are going to be taking your profits along the way and not wait for the peak and now if we are going to look at alts from the perspective of madrid ribbon we've just turned a green on madrid ribbon so we still have a little bit of time we just barely left that accumulation phase so as on my chart mr mickey bull crypto shout out by the way has targets of around 3 trillion usd as well so i do believe that this is going to be a very very massive altcoin season especially for cardano and now probably you guys are asking what are my price predictions for ada this bull cycle so if we are going to look at the market cap market cap is currently sitting at a little bit over 20 billion usd and let's say if cardano is going to do let's say 10 or 15 x from now on that would be let's say okay roughly six seven dollars perhaps even more it's very difficult to say of how much of that market share cardano is going to receive and now guys if you have survived till the end of the video this is the crypto that i do think that has potential that is ai crypto one thing that raised my attention is that the investors are solana foundation and binance labs and this is ai crypto and of course we do know that this is the narrative for this crypto bull cycle so this is worth checking out i'm not affiliated with these guys at all i'm just sharing my opinion i do believe that this crypto has upside potential and the market cap is quite small so so check it out if you are interested ladies and gents thank you very much for watching that quick cardano update i hope that you have guys enjoyed it and i wish you having a great day or evening wherever you are in the world peace and love crypto